Okay, so now on to the Blu-rays. The first of which I got was um, Dead Cheap in Asda. It was £8, and that is Observe and Report, a film I've been meaning to watch for a while. Apparently, it's one of the better comedies of last year. So anyway, I, I picked it up, and I watched it, and was dead impressed. It is a lot darker than you'd expect. It's... I think the comparisons to Taxi Driver are well deserved, so Observe and Report, if it's one of those films that passed you by and you didn't bother with, give it a go, because it's a very unique movie, it's very dark, kind of extremely violent at points, <laughs> it's just a really enjoyable, it'll be unlike anything you've seen recently, so that's Observe and Report. I also picked up in the same deal for £8, True Romance on Blu-ray, uh, one of my all-time favourite films, again it's a Tarantino script directed by Tony Scott, basically his spin on, ton uh, on Bonnie and Clyde rather. Um, but I love the movie. The transfer is really good. I popped it in to have a look and see what the transfer would be like. It's a lot better than the DVD. It's not brilliant, but it's definitely worth the upgrade, especially for £8. So that's true romance. One of my more recent Blu-ray purchases is uh, Shutter Island, the Martin Scorsese film. Probably my second favourite film of the year so far after Inception. I watched this again last night and it's just everything I love about the horror genre thriller like thing. Um, Basically, it reminds me a lot of The Shining in terms of style, in terms of shots that um, Scorsese uses and stuff. Um, for anybody who's interested, I did review Shutter Island when it came out, so go check out that video review. But the Blu-ray um, is a cracking picture quality, and I absolutely love the film. That was the third time I'd seen it, and it still holds up, so that's Shutter Island. Also a set that I've had for quite a while, but I actually forgot to put in my last update, and that's the uh, Clint Eastwood Dirty Harry box set. This was £15, and I got it from Play.com. It contains all five movies, including um, Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, The Enforcer, Sudden Impact, and The Deadpool. It's uh, basically it's three pounds each if you work it out. Fifteen quid for the box set, three quid each. On Blu-ray, that's a fantastic bargain. And I watched the uh, first one, which is a terrific film, Dirty Harry, um, which is ah this one. And uh, the picture quality was really really good on it. And then we've obviously got Magnum Force. Um, the Enforcer, Sudden Impact, and The Deadpool. So, in terms of value for money on Blu-rays, the Dirty Harry box set is uh, one of the best deals out there, so I thoroughly recommend um, picking that up while it's cheap, because it is a brilliant box set. Next two Blu-rays I got, um, I, I was kind of walking through HMV, and I had no idea that these films were out yet on Blu-ray, um, and as soon as I saw them, I thought, I'm going to have to get them gonna have to get them. And uh, the first of which is Clerks on Blu-ray. Now, I know you're gonna ask, what is the point in buying Clerks on Blu-ray? The point is, I love the movie. Kevin Smith, who wrote it, is one of my favourite writers. Um, I uh, basically contains all the same special features as the um, 10th anniversary edition DVD that I had, but it comes with an extra documentary for the making of Jane Silent Bob Strike Back called Oh What a Lovely Tea Party. Um, a very interesting documentary, kind of a glimpse behind the scenes and stuff like that. But to be honest, it's one of my favourite movies and I thought it was worth, you know, get upgrading just to support the film in a sense, um, because I absolutely love it. So that's uh, Clerks and it's the 15th anniversary edition Blu-ray and I personally think it's worth the upgrade grade, although only if you can get it kind of cheap, because it is just the one special feature that you're buying it for. So if you can find it at, say, £10 or less on Blu-ray, which, considering it's a new uh, release, would be quite lucky, I'd pick it up. So that's Clerks, and I also picked up um, Chasing Amy. Now, this one was a no-brainer. Like, I ummed and ahed over Clerks about whether to get it or not, but Chasing Amy I picked up straight away and I was like, I have to get that. Because not only is it my favourite Kevin Smith movie, it's just one of my favourite movies in general. It's in my top ten of all time. I think it's the greatest rom-com ever made, and to be honest, one of the films that conveys love in a realistic way and kind of sells it to me. Um, and it's hysterically funny as well, so the uh, Blu-ray contains new special features like retrospective documentaries documentaries, Q&As and commentaries um, and it's definitely, definitely worth the upgrade for those special features because for anybody who's familiar with Kevin Smith's films on DVD, he always gives 110% in terms of extra content so it's definitely worth the upgrade so that's Chasing Amy. Next I picked up the first Karate Kid on Blu-ray um, as I said earlier when I was talking about the box set of the DVDs um, the Karate Kid I absolutely loved as a, as a child and just wanted to see it again and wanted to see it looking as good as, it, as I remembered it looking and the transfer is really good on it it looks like a new movie and the movie speaks for itself you know it's big 
cheesy, mindless 80s fun and it's really, really enjoyable. Uh, so that's The Karate Kid. The next uh, film I picked up on Blu-ray is one that has an exclusive cover um, to Asda, the supermarket that I bought it from, and that's Donnie Darko. And as you can see, it has a uh, is it lenticular cover where you can see Donnie turning into Frank and, and shit like that. It's definitely one of my favourite films. I absolutely love Donnie Darko and would argue that it's one of the greatest comic book slash superhero movies ever made. Um, it's it's such a fantastic movie. This contains both the theatrical cut, which is the superior cut in my opinion, and the director's cut. The uh, special features from the DVD are all there, especially the um, the one that I wanted to make sure was on the disc is the commentary with Kevin Smith that takes place over the director's cut, which is absolutely hilarious. Um, I love Kevin Smith's insights into this film, and um, he really kind of brings Richard Kelly, the director, out of his shell, and they get a quite a natural conversation going, and it's it's quite funny and stuff and interesting and it really shows the film in a new light so that's Donnie Darko. Uh, the next film I got after that on Blu-ray was one that I saw at the cinema um, when it was released. I was actually going to review it for YouTube but never got round to it. One that I really really enjoy and thoroughly recommend and that is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. First time I watched it, I thought, that's a lot better than I was expecting it to be, but it's not amazing. I picked it up on Blu-ray, and because I thought, I really want to see it, I was properly in the mood to watch it, so I picked it up, watched it, and enjoyed it a lot more on second viewing. You get a lot more from the character stuff um, on the second viewing, because it really is the character moments that make the film, like the actual conventional whodunit plot isn't the most interesting point you know it's definitely the interactions between the characters helps that all the actors are brilliant and after watching it again I can't wait for The Girl Who Played With Fire um, that'll be a fantastic film so yeah this one The Girl With The Dragon Tattoo that's actually currently being remade by David Fincher I thoroughly recommend check it out it's really good the next film I got is one of my uh, favourites of the year, actually, probably in the top five at a push, um, and that is Breck Eisner's remake of The Crazies. Um, I've never seen the George A. Romero original, but this film I absolutely loved. It's everything I want from a zombie film, and I know people are going to launch into me saying it's not a zombie film, they're not zombies. The point is, it's got all the setup of a zombie movie just with different creatures. I mean, it essentially is a zombie movie. Anybody who says it isn't a zombie movie, you know, come on, get a life, it's a zombie movie. Um, but yeah, very enjoyable film. Again, it's one I've reviewed for YouTube, so go check out that review if you want my complete thoughts on it. But it's a lot better than it should have been. It re it's a legitimately good film, not just throwaway fun, but I honestly think it's a legitimately good film that has quite a lot to say. So yeah, that's the crazy. Now on to the final film that I bought. Um, this is one that actually only arrived today in the post that I forgot I ordered, and uh, that is The Warriors on Blu-ray. Warriors, again, one of my favourite films. Um, I heard that the transfer on the Blu-ray is one of the best available, so I thought, right, I'm, I'm going to have to get that. So uh, I ordered it on Amazon, I think it was like seven quid, at most six pounds fifty or something like that. And uh, as I said, it arrived today, so I'll be watching that tonight. The Warriors, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's absolutely brilliant, and it's cheap as chips on Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, directed by Walter Hill about a gang, a street gang, who have to get the, uh, across New York to Coney Island and basically have to try and fight their way across because all these other gangs are after them. Very good film. It's like a retelling of a Greek legend or something, but it's definitely worth checking out, so that's The Warriors. Anyway, uh, that's everything I've bought since my last update, and obviously some of which I actually forgot to put in my last update stupidly but that's like everything now that's my big update so um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, coming up on my channel I have no idea I'll just film stuff as I think of it um, but thank you as always to everybody who rates comments subscribes you, you all make it worth doing and uh, yeah thanks a lot guys just keep an eye out for my next videos uh, cheers this is Civilian Snowman signing out I'll see you later bye